I'm so I'm Sebastian Gayoton. I'm director of product management at Storm Audio. Um, I have basically have a role who's transverse in the company uh, in between the R&D and, and the marketing. So defining the products, making sure that whatever we, we, we design and we develop for our customers really meet the demand. Okay. And what about Storm Audio? So Storm Audio is, is a company that actually is now a bit more than 10 years old. Uh, it started and had different owners over time, but we became independent in 2018 under some uh, Belgium investment company called Saffelberg. Uh, since then, we really, uh, uh, let's say, strengthened the whole range, uh, launching the uh, MK2 uh, that became really the successful product in the range. And, and uh, recently, it, it became the, uh, the MK3. So uh, Storm Audio is, is a small team. We are actually below 20 people all, all around the world, uh, 17 persons uh, uh, in, in France, actually. Most of it is engineering, so the, the company is really R&D centric. Uh, we, we do have engineers in, in hardware, software, DSPs, mechanical design, and obviously uh, uh, electronical design. Um, we, we are fabless. Uh, we do work with contractual uh, uh, manufacturing, uh, but this is design and manufacturing in France. Um, with with uh, uh, actually two factories right now, two partners, uh, uh, one in the very west part of France and another one uh, not far from, from not where we are based. So it's, it's really a, a team of passionate people about the audio and, and the video. The good thing with the home cinema is that it, it's really a mix of, of the video and, and the audio. And, and, and we build products really at Storm Audio that here's here to, to make sure that you get the emotions of uh, watching a movie. So right now, our main, main focus is really the home cinema, but we, we want to build the company as really an actor of the residential space, so a, a bit broader than just the home cinema. But the home cinema is really the essence of, of what Storm Audio is today. Yesterday evening, during a fabulous uh, dinner, you told me that you measure every single product before shipping. Yes, correct. We And we measure it, okay, real top high-end stuff like uh, the precision that that's uh, that's nice for me yeah. yeah and and the 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 main reason for that is that we we build products we are in the high-end space you know uh, when you buy a storm audio this is an investment so we want to make sure that uh, whatever product is in the field we have this pedigree i mean we we can know uh, uh, for each of them we have the, the complete set of measurements. So if you buy a processor that has 32 channels output, we have measured all of them. We, we know that they, they pass the whole quality control to make sure that the performance will be up to what we expect at Storm Audio. So this is really key. So it's key for many reasons. It makes sure that we get the quality at the end of the production. But also if there is like any complaint or whatever, we can verify if that actually uh, uh, can be true or not, or, or uh, you know monitor what what happens in the field. So that's really important. So we use audio precision uh, uh, at, at our labs, uh, which are a very precise equipment, but also at each factory, uh, we have a complete uh, bench test that, that helps measure everything. We, uh, that, that's really key to, uh, to make sure that uh, the product quality uh, is maintained with any product that goes out of the line. What's the situation about the ship shortage and do you have any problem in, in, uh, yes. in production? Yes, we, as any other, let's say, company uh, manufacturing in the electronics field, the, the last two years have been uh, extremely difficult. Uh, it's, it's been, uh, um, there has been a lot, I mean, a big shortage, that's for sure. Um, so the last year we spent a lot of our time at, at the, let's say, R&D, was to really find the correct sourcing for all the components. So it, it created a, a, a huge stress and obviously uh, a rarification on the components uh, uh, themselves. Uh, the, 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 let's say what we got in the end is that uh, uh, components were difficult to find, became more expensive, and, and overall, this adds a, a main consequence was really on the lead time of the product. So we, we had to, uh, to delay some of the production just like for a single component. And that's really uh, turns us to become crazy. But the thing is, this is the same problem for everybody. So all brands have faced uh, this uh, shortage. Now it's becoming better. The main difference I would say is that you have to plan really, really much in advance. 
uh, when when we were planning to you know, prepare production in the past, the, the longest was like 20 weeks to get components. Now you can go beyond a year in some components. You need to order like 54 weeks before you get the components. And, and that's what you need to manage. So it's a different way uh, uh, to produce. But obviously, this has an impact also on the whole development process of the products. Last year, the last two years, we had to redesign some of the boats just because some components were impossible to find. So that's, that takes a lot of the resource and all that. So that, that at some point is, is an issue also to you know, keep moving in the innovation and all that. But now I would say, hopefully, we believe that this is over. Although with the war and all that, it's, it's still a bit slow uh, to, to ramp up again. But overall, we, we see the light at the end of the tunnel. So let's talk about the, your products inside this. Uh, wonderful room and audio quality in Bologna and I follow you uh, calibrating with uh, direct the software yep. and so uh, what's your feeling about the results of this calibration what, what, what do you think about it well I think before we we, we we speak about the calibration I think the the most important aspect is is that you know calibration is like the cherry on the cake the, the, the calibration can only happen if, if, if you have a system that has been properly installed, the room has been properly designed and, and already, already measured as a room itself, like making sure that, you know, the decay time and all that is well controlled. I would say if, if you don't have that first, it's very difficult to say you want to start calibration. So this room on that aspect is really good. It, it sounds good already from the start. Then... The speakers that are now using the room, this, this, the complete wisdom audio range is just amazing. I mean, this, it is, it is really a, a precise speakers, very detailed, and extremely fast. That that really helps to to bring the the dynamic of whatever content you have on on, on home cinema soundtracks, and and that is really key because our processor they are designed uh, to to really reproduce in in a fidel way. Uh, the soundtrack and only when you have the good room and the good speakers that you can have the best capability so when you have that to start with it becomes really uh, let's say uh, not easy but it it helps make sure that when you start using your calibration tool so in, in our case we are trusting and using for i mean since the beginning actually at storm audio we are using direct live and it is a very precise tool and it does work very well it, it took some time for Dirac to, to mature over time. I mean, when we started, they did not have any means to, let's say, do the base management, right? This was a very good tool to, to, to manage speaker one by one, but it did not help really work with the, the base problems that you have in the room. So you need to do your uh, calibration of the subwoofers fully manually so far, I mean, in, in like two years ago. When, when they came with the base management, it really made the life of our integrators much easier because not only they made a, a, a very good work in, in controlling the base in the system with multiple subwoofers, but actually it's, it starts to be already good with one sub. But using multiple sub, it makes life very easy uh, for the integrator. I mean, the system will do the, the right measurements. You need to make sure, of course, that you scan the room in the proper way. When you have multiple seats, uh, uh, you need to also define where, what, let's say, the location, your reference listing points should be. So when, when everything's clear, you can do your measurements. And the tool really helps the integrator uh, uh, by tweaking the, the target curve to meet the, the, uh, the good expectations. So I think... Dirac, in that sense, is really a powerful tool. Obviously, and as any other systems, you need to have uh, some, some skill or some knowledge on what, let's say, uh, a target curve or what a reproduction should be in a room. You need to understand a little bit of the physics of the room and, and what, at some point, the expectation is for, for your customer. But... The tool allows you to tweak the target curve in a way that you get this, uh, I would say, uh, uh, harmonious, uh, uh, homogeneous reproduction. So in this room especially, I mean, the subwoofer are extremely capable. There are only two subs, but there is one in front and one in the back. And that really helps to have a perfect alignment in the sub in this listening area. And, and, and this, this has, has really uh, uh, been a, a strong uh, impression after the calibration, I mean, all the demo we could do, I mean, I'm very happy, very tight. So it's, it's really a combination. 
And, and the direct life tool in our implementation at Storm Audio, it, one of the things that is very critical is that you have the tool in one hand, but you also have the filters on the other hand. And, and the Storm Audio processor has the most precise integration of the direct filter, so the mixed phase filters. It's, it's kind of a field filter plus some other type of backwards, but overall we have more than 3,000 taps uh, for each channel and we have 32 channels. So that's one of the points that makes the, the uh, uh, let's say, the results uh, really precise and also really dynamic. I mean, we, we use dedicated DSPs for that and, and we are in 40-bit floating DSPs. And in the end, that means that the dynamic range is kept always at, at its best. And, and that's overall, when you combine all of that with the filter, with, with the proper uh, measurements, proper target curve definitions, uh, and in the end, because the direct tool does a good job, but it is always very critical that you take the time to take your SPL meter, rescan the room to make sure that everything's good in terms of alignment. You, you sometimes have to tweak a little bit to see because like yesterday, the surround back speaker were a little bit lower, so we had to increase it li them a little bit. But you also need to make sure that uh, uh, by, by using some dedicated signal that you know, the subwoofer and the LCL speakers are really well in phase in terms of the bass kick because they're in the end what you look for is to really have the impact. What I could experience is that the, the tool, the Direct Live with the bass control, so far, most of the time is extremely precise. What you might have to do is like tweak like by one millisecond or two sometime just to make sure that this is very tight. If you do the verification in the end, the result is excellent. And, and, and this is really something that we like because at Storm Audio, what is very important for us is that we do not give a tool that is too hard to use, too hard to understand. So our user interface is really uh, a straightforward with a logical flow uh, to, uh, to go through the configuration phase. And then uh, by, by integrating with the Dirac, it's also in the same philosophy. You know, you do your measurements, you, you, you tweak your target curves, adjust your crossover. It's, it's well guided enough that any integrator who's got a good skill in understanding how acoustics work, they can make magic with that being an acoustician, and that's really important. We, we always recommend to, to do some measurements using uh, other tools, just to make sure that in the end this is, yeah, well controlled. But usually you don't have to. Uh, the result is, is excellent almost all the time. So we're very satisfied with that, and, and Dirac keeps working on, on future things, and, and we are really uh, a close partner with them. So we are uh, really confident that this is one of the best systems nowadays uh, in, in this uh, space. And, and this translates really into the, our user experience. You know, we, we are now installed in, in a lot of uh, systems with extremely high quality speakers, such as these Wisdom uh, speakers. And, and that's in the end really shows uh, uh, how we are perceived. Um, yeah, that's that's the point. But I think this is a whole thing and a whole experiment. Uh, but when we design our product, this is really multi-channel, 32 channels, but we listen to it also as a stereo gear. You know, I'm, I'm coming more from the stereo uh, uh, background and, and it's to me, I don't want to have two systems in my place. I want to make sure that my system base is, is the best, not only for the home cinema, but also for my stereo. And, and, and this is what you get also with our processor. You, 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 you can really uh, make a blind test. You know, people will not believe it, but make a blind test, put gears like that, all components, stereo components, whatever, and put that just next to our processor. Use the rune uh, to stream your, your best song and, and make a comparison. Do it in blind. You will be just surprised that it's very hard to distinguish our 32 channel processor from some very high-end two channel pieces that are all separated so that's that's really the the, the hill i mean the what, what we what we target the, the here at storm audio that's really key it's not only a home cinema cinema piece it's really to enjoy the music experiments yeah okay uh, what, what i saw what i heard uh it's the amazingly constant frequency response in each uh, seats of this room that's amazing really yeah. compared to the other solutions i i heard in in the same room so and, and i saw you uh so measuring and uh, you are very fast in the calibration time okay mm -hmm. uh, are you planning to to do uh, any uh, training for installers and or uh, consumer people because 
also a, a consumer. People can buy your store more your product and, and maybe they want to make uh, the calibration installation uh, yeah. ourselves. So, well, uh, here what we usually do is, is we, we do have some training sessions with uh, our distributors, our dealers. So you, the typical thing is that our distributors, they, they, they bring together multiple dealers that have interest in the product and we arrange a, a complete set of, of trainings that goes through the complete products, features, configurations, and of course, the use of the Dirac tool. But that's one thing when, we, let's say, we do things physically. But with the past year with, and the COVID, we created uh, uh, quite a good number of, of video tutorials uh, that really helps uh, any, any integrator, any end user to, to take the product and go from A to Z into the complete configuration. So like for Dirac Live, we have a complete dedicated tutorial that explains you on a step-by-step -step how to do it. And we also uh, uh, opened up a new service that we call the PRAC. It's, it's the, uh, a, a remote assisted calibration. Uh, um, what, what we do is, is quite simple. We work with the integrator. We ask them to provide us the, the room uh, uh, layout, uh, the, the map of the, you know, the floor map, the, the speaker installations, uh, how the, the, the seats are positioned in the room. We take a few hours. We take all this information. And, and we come back to them with, uh, uh, let's say, a proposal on, on where to locate the microphones to capture the rooms. So to, to make the whole, uh, uh, let's say, capture of the listening area. So of course, we need to know and get a definition of your reference listening points. So we, we create this microphone survey and we help them make it. And, and uh, we, we also offer, as part of that, a support in, in tweaking the target curve based on, let's say, our experiment. Right, this is made on remote. Of course, it will never replace the, the real listening test in the end to make sure that the result is good. But I would say, uh, so far, the experimentation we've done with this is that it really helps go quickly into the moment where you actually just focus on the fine tuning, right? And and this this is something that we do offer. Um, I think one of the good thing with with the the Dirac tool is that uh, Dirac themselves work in making it easy to use, and and as I mentioned, you don't have to be a, an acoustician to to use it. It's always better to understand what you do and 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 what not to do. Uh, in, in tweaking the curve, uh, there are things that you do not want to change or there are things that uh, are natural in the room and, and this is very important to keep the characteristics sometimes of the speaker. So all of that is, is well described in the multiple tutorials we did, but also what Dirac has, has brought as, as thing. And actually in the latest version of the tool, they, they created this uh, auto target curve that considering all the measurements of the speakers, they, they are recommending uh, 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 already a kind of target curve that you can tweak and it will keep the naturalness of, of the uh, acoustical response of each speaker. So um, um, that's, that's the way uh, Storm Audio and Dirac works. Um, we don't know whether right now we want to extend that much into the real end user, but uh, it is true that so far we were really into the ends of integrators, but we have more and more end customers buying the product simply because they, they, they want the, uh, uh, the access to the high performance and, uh, and the audio quality that we provide uh, without having to work with an integrator doing the work by themselves. So in this case, the good thing is that the product is extremely stable. It's really easy to use. We provide documentation that makes that in the end, they are quite, uh, uh, they can work by themselves. They don't need a lot of support to, uh, uh, to make this work. And the experience so far is good. Thank you for your time, for your interview. It's... You're welcome, you know, uh, and, and here we're very happy. Uh, this, this room is, is really, uh, uh, really exceptional, in, in, especially in the bass impacts. It's, it's really uh, something that we, we love. So, yeah, thank you. Yep. <laughs>